What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. And this is uh, part 45 and this will be an hour special. So, picking up where we left off, uh, we have landed more forces in southern, Indi southern India and they have sallied forces out to attack our possessions. So we've kind of met in the middle here and then we've got a good opportunity to do some damage um, against these two stacks. So, further ado, let's crack on. So hopefully, uh, with our lead force, we can uh, do sufficient damage to these two stacks. They will be pushed northward, and we can uh, push, continue pushing west into Mysore. Again, making another economic uh, thrust into Mughal territory. So we do have only four units because we are relying on reinforcements. So I'm going to go all the way over here. Here we go. So this is where my reinforcements are going to be coming in. So the job will be to set up a new front. My new front will have to be fairly robust to allow my uh, reinforcements to actually enter the field. Field artillery enter up and head straight towards this ridge line. As will the other 12 pounder unit. The bowmen are starting to get close. Another foot artillery unit. Not exactly the. Uh, ideal uh, choice of entering the battlefield although I could have could have and should have made some overtures into that in that direction uh, when it came to organiz organizing my army form up and get ready to immediately pour musket fire into those men native lancers are running in so we must be very careful how we handle this present there we go we should do some They are focus firing my, well they were, focus firing my cavalry, my um, artillery, sorry. Let's get this cavalry off to the flank. Okay, let's set up a more defined position. somewhere we can more reliably put our artillery to good use. Another howitzer unit. Lots of howitzers. But we are getting into the position now where hopefully some of our Artillery must be entering the field. Another 12 pounder foot unit, which is probably going to go all the way along the back. Can really do with, a, with the 35th entering the field. Now. Come on. Yes. Lots of cavalry on the right, on the on the right flank coming in. These lancers aren't pushing. Okay, 
you nail nail it along you guys get back out of square and form up you right on the flank are going to drop into square this guy's going to do an end around I want him to run in and try and threaten our artillery that's probably not even what an end around is but whatever come on let's bring you in to join the musket battle move in got some lancers back here They are chasing after us <laughs> with their cavalry and diamond formation. So the mortars are what I'm focused about. Their field artillery we can engage with um, conventional artillery. damage to these mortar crews. I am concerned about this cavalry over on the right flank, but if they aren't marching to respond to us, like these lancers are, kill a couple more of them just to make sure they stay gone. probably would end up doing something like no doubt the second I take these guys out of square they will they're gonna be dead meat so I'm not gonna do that yeah, pushing in but that's okay. So our artillery focus on combating. One of you hit the great gun, another of you start hitting this Nance unit that's in danger formation. Unsurprisingly, we lost a uh, infantry unit to these cavalry charges. So one of our howitzers hit battlefield targets, you start to try and knock out some of these cavalry dudes. You charge into those hidden new musketeers who are going to hit my line from the rear. You better hit into square. You best get into square now. General got killed from some sort of fire. Let's forgive the canister fire there. I don't know why those artillery are breaking. Is it because of the fire of the great gun? so close to uh, my general we don't go after the musketeers okay you guys pivot to face them you guys get out of square 
start to push up this hill. Yeah, drop you guys into square. There we go. Our new field units are entering, entering the fight. So we are expecting, yeah, there they are, some of the enemy uh, enemy reinforcements. Let's clump all these guys together just so they don't create a massive uh, problem later on. If I can get my cavalry up and intercept these mortars, because even though they've left their mortars behind, it's the actual crew that do the damage, bizarrely. Hit the Kiz Kizubashi cavalry, because that means they are is their general. Well, at least that's the leader of the reinforcements coming in. There we go. So the units are actually forming my proper front line. Can now... Redeploy. And they are running back to try and save their save their beleaguered comrades. We are going to be under fire temporarily. Once my men have positioned themselves appropriately, these Royal Indian Guards will be for it. The, 50, uh, the 35th Regiment of Artillery also getting up to some mischief. It's got a howitzers hitting the troops that are joining the field. You just run, run away. Too bad I lost my general. Or is that my commander of reinforcements? Edgier Murray Danvers. Good stuff. Then our gunners can target the likes of those musketeers. Some mortars. They're bringing in, bringing up some more troops. Hey, dervishes! Where did you come from? My infantry is very keen to speak to you guys, especially as you're getting you're getting hammered from the flank over here. Already wavering. ready and fire into the enemy formations. Come on, these dervishes can't stand against an elite Louisiana infantry unit. No way. Okay, let's pick some new howitz targets. Let's pick that musketeer unit and you can pick that infantry mercenary unit because it is full. Uh, 
Uh, let's get my general out of potentially f uh, artillery friendly fire range. Good hit. Very good hit. Do you have some counter battery fire going off now? But they've. That's the great gun. They are limbering up. Well, it looks like these fellows are going to have a slightly uncomfortable time. There we go. Picking new targets. Because these guys might actually come back. Oh no, they probably won't. Carcass shot going in. Another good hit. We're knocking some holes in their ranks before they've even got to our lines. Beautiful. Another good hit. That can be the problem with these bulked up units, is that even uh, close hits can do a lot of damage. The, f the first Dakini! The first! Three chevrons. Well, that's thinned them out somewhat. These, these levy are gonna be very, very, very sad. Oh, they've got their charge. They're charging. With their, pick with their pitchforks and prongs. So where's our... They have no cavalry. So you, rather than standing here doing nothing, are going to go on your last run and go and kill that great gun that's killing your comrades. I don't think it's technically out of range. We could do counter-battery if we wanted to, but generally easier to just send cavalry on a run to take him out. Straight at him. These infantry mercenaries are already unhappy about it. So are those levy, but they're not going to intercept, not in time. Just as the 26th, 26th Daikili are being bloodily repulsed. Oh, they've limbered up, which is perfect. It gives us an even better opportunity to take them out. So you think you've limbered up your guns, you think, great, we can bring those bring these up to the front to kill these European pigs, and then suddenly out of the trees comes the cavalry. Two crews down. One last. Definitely take him out. And go hit these mercenaries. the artillery tears the remaining Indian forces a new one. Now where's my general? Let's get you involved in the fight. Pick new artillery targets. In fact, focus all my houses on one. Uh, field artillery on the other. You guys stop firing. There we go. Some levy pushing around the flank. And the 10th, 109th Regiment of Foot that's down to half strength is not happy about it.
Okay, you escaped my fire at will cease order. like that I suppose you guys get stuck into them keep at him the second Dakini is down to one They've been taken out. I want to keep my cavalry, some cavalry, close to deal with the large mortars. These men will die hard. There we go. Hit their large mortar crews. All my artillery focus on this single unit of mercenaries. As another unit comes in to join the levy slaughter. The main unit did break. taken out and I think that's probably going to be the time to cease and desist all my artillery fire allow these guys to continue fighting the levy although they are confident allegedly damn right we're going to continue let's go check out my general down to 40, we're down to 20, 19, 16. There we go. Killing guard units, artillery. That's my favourite. Set them to chase after those mercenaries, but they'll never get there. Yeah, they've routed. Just bring them over here. Let's see if they can help with killing these guardsmen. So these were the troops that were marching towards uh, our new territory on the, in southeast India. So it was a good win. Knocked them out of the game. They took a lot of losses. So did we. I don't like the direction they went particularly. Okay. So now this is the, the big one. Intercepting. Intercepting uh, these forces with our gargantuan reinforcements i think we've got to do it really so uh let's do it <laughs> we've got to intercept um so the interesting thing here will be who breaks first will we run out of ammunition or will we uh, not last the full hour Hmm. Okay, good. My recording is working. Okay, yeah. Because my recording digits freeze during this bit because the screen's freezing, but it doesn't mean it's not recording because it's definitely going up in chunks, not in sequential seconds when it starts again. Good. Right. We have breaches. That's good. So we started facing that way. We're gonna get we're gonna have sufficiently more breaches before the day is out, however. So let's drop a pair of guns back here. 18 pounder horse guard artillery no less.
And let's try and drop a few here to try and do some sort of counter battery fire. Right, we don't want to surrender the wall in its entirety. So it generally fits to do something like... Oh, come on. Don't deploy... There we go, that's what I wanted. It's all about learning where to click and where to drag. Okay. Probably going to want to put more troops on this section of the wall, considering this is the direction they'll probably be going. At least at the start. And what does that leave us with? We've got some good cavalry. I'll put a unit of marines over this gate. Probably put a unit of maize under Roy or Ra, whatever, here as a backup. That leaves us four units to uh, create a good killing field here. So I might put some East India Company infantry in that I wish you could pick what side of the building they'd be in. I might actually redeploy these guns. Oh, come on. There we go. Then put one unit over here. goes up in the building and that leaves us with one spare four right okay with no how it says to do good counter battery this is going to be a bit a bit ropey oh, you guys aren't really the right angle to do counter battery but let's see how you get on Fire over. Yes, over. Hey, that works. Pfft, I'll take that. Because they're aiming at... To be honest, this damage is... This bit's already really quite damaged. To be honest, I'm probably going to want to put my cuirassiers and my Gurkhas outside doing charges as and when, and hopefully at some point getting routed and pushed off the field. What I really hope these guys do is uh, run around to try to get up on the wall or to get through these breaches, personally. not so keen on these swordsmen standing here. Okay, let's put my infantry over here. Thank Christ, we managed to route one of them. Cavalry out of my fort, please, before the enemy infantry get into position. They'll probably be back. run away from these guys 
I really hope you guys aren't going to screw this up. Good. The doors do shut. Well, they have shut. Hit the mercenaries. I was hoping people wouldn't come through that section of the wall. Let's get you over here to help the main breach effort. Get my guardsmen up here already. I mean, come on. At least get you up on the walls. Please route. Please route. Cressiers in against the melee infantry guards. Good stuff. So some Gurkhas did manage to get in, but now they're kind of stuck. Good. Some of their cavalry is routing. I'm going to stop firing. You guys continue to fire at the breach. You guys come over ready. You guys need to jump on these Gurkhas before they can get established. You guys need to go hit the Sikh warriors. Oh no, they've got another way in. Horsemen have routed. Okay, so you guys can now come back here. You get inside that fort. These sepoys take position over here. You guys get on that section of the wall. Take position. Nope, come on, deploy. Stop. Okay, am I set my colonial light? Back to go get the Sikh musketeers and probably go back to help against the Gurkhas here because they are... Gurkhas are pretty good. Although, in fact, what will probably happen is my colonial lights will go around and my cuirassiers will go through. Building lot. Building... Oh, good. Captured. House. Okay, you sepoys go over here. Or do I... Ex do I then take that as part of my lost territory. Do I then go, okay. Get these guys off the walls. Keep one unit up here as a token effort to hold the gate, but kind of count the wall as lost. And for these guys to hold as long as possible, like in the face of those Gurkhas. Come on, run my light horse, run.
Good. Keep my cuirassiers here. My light cavalry. There's probably no Gurkhas down here anymore. Yeah, there's none. It's a shame. No, don't do that. You'll just bug out. My marines seem to be winning against the Gurkhas though, which is positive. You stop firing. Although you guys might be might be worth you charging the charging the bowmen. So we've lost a unit completely, and it's coming on in the worst possible spot. It's going to be Cavalry West Side Story soon. Damn. These guys actually held the wall. But you're still going to withdraw. My cavalry is going to run. Over here. You guys are going to fire at will. Curiosiers charging the Zimondo horsemen. You guys charge that unit of horsemen. Camel gunners have dismounted. It's an, no, don't, don't resist the temptation to charge. You guys garrison the walls you might want to get a, a lucky kill on their general come on get everyone in position ready and fire you stop firing for a start Okay, this is it. This is the first attack. This is the first actual push. And it would help if these units would deploy where I want them to deploy. You guys now start to fire by fire by rank. Okay, you're choosing to aim at the cavalry. That's fair enough. You're doing a good job shooting at their general. Okay, we don't want to kill them. We want them to rout more than kill. Here goes the Islamic swordsman. Charge them. The Marines are still doing good stuff against those Gurkhas. You guys are still firing. Okay, you're not firing at those gunners anymore. Let's get those new gunners to run away. You guys now engage mortars right at the back. howitzer might have a case of just plonking down here and just firing off as many carcass shells as they can within range. Likely won't last too long. He 
likely won't last too long, but they might last long enough. And that is all that matters. You guys engage the damn Gherkins. There we go, there go the infantry. On route. Yes. It's the main hope. Okay, the pikes have worked out that the cavalry, the artillery is shooting at them. So let's bring my cavalry over. Cavalry versus pikes. Is that a good idea? I hear you ask. Well, it can be. At the very least, it will uh, decoy their pikes. <laughs> well, I hoped. Fortunately, their pikes have quite low morale. So, a massive charge from the rear doesn't seem like it's such a bad idea, but it does mean I have to start microing this engagement quite heavily. So I've changed target because these guys are now too close, but we can get a good hit on these gunners, or at least, in theory, could have. Will we get to them before the... They did charge. I know, it's bad. It's bad, but the problem is, is that... The risk to my... It's not just to my howitzers. Um, if I didn't cover it, cover this area... Well, as you can see now, actually, my reinforcement area is now becoming quite swamped with enemy troops, which isn't really what you want from a reinforcement area. Yeah, there goes some of our light cav. But at the very least, we might be keeping them occupied from actually making a concerted effort to attack us, which seems like it could be the case. Let's get you guys back up on this wall. Depending on how fast these camel gunners route and who takes their place. Oh, you sense more artillery. No, oh, colonial infantry. Not a terrible result. Come on, let me pick. Focus is their artillery over there in the distance. He's doing a lot of damage. Run! Get off the wall! Quick! So my reinforcement line of dream. Good, they are focusing at the right target. I wanted to hit the camel gunners first. You guys may as well keep engaging targets at range. No, the Gurk has intercepted me. Good, 
stuff. Bowmen are coming in again. Use round shot, maybe. They might pick off the general. Where's my cavalry? Mortars would be great. Those mortars at the back would be better. Send the marines in to hit the bowmen. You chaps are fighting dervishes. Hit those mortars because the mortars have bad morale implications. them to bits, cuirassiers. You're cuirassiers, damn it. Good, we broke the uh, their morale. Run you guys along to hit the Gurkhas, and I want the Colonial Light to come and hit the Gurkhas as well. I want you guys to run on and hit the Mortars, if you can. 37th? Oh god. Form square. I think that's how you deal with camels. To be honest, I might even use my cavalry over there. Uh, Curiosier. If you can extricate yourself, which you cannot. Shame. I, I don't know if square is the right, right way to deal with this, um, but I don't think there's a lot else to do. We're about to get some good reinforcements. If these artillery route and my cavalry route at the same time... Actually, they better charge them. As I said, I am going to get reinforcements here. necessarily the reinforcements I would like. Charge them into the horsemen. Gotta try beat them. If I, gotta try beat them to uh, secure this part of the fort for me. So I'm not anticipating great things by my mercenaries. What I just want is them to hold off those guys. Where's this cavalry? Good, they're about to rout. Some Hindu warriors about to come in through the centre. Our light cavalry is still alive and kicking. So you can run. Okay, cut over to here again. More mercenaries. Pick you, 51st. Get stuck into the horsemen as well. Okay, don't run straight into them. To be honest, might not be a bad idea, but I'd rather... So where are their actual guns? That's the question. There they are. They're not firing, but it does the same thing. Good, we're actually starting to form a bit of a defensive redoubt here that we can use to eventually push up and help clear out this flank.
Come on, infantry. Let's charge a unit into the pikemen. So who's this climbing up here? Hindu warriors. Just make our infantry fight to the death at this point. Want these guys to fire at the Indian, at the Indian general, at the very least to try and make him rout. Good. You guys form up. Good stuff. Our perimeter near our reinforcements is actually now getting fairly strong. So when these Colonial Light Cav successfully route, that will be useful. You guys continue to engage the Hindu warriors. Realistically, what I want is to form a line near this part of the wall so that the forces protecting these breaches can move north. General's bodyguards come back. That's okay. Now you guys currently serve limited purpose. Okay, you guys have got to hit them before they fire. Sepoys can fire off their volleys. No, they definitely gunned down a bunch of our guys before uh, they successfully attacked or defended uh, against those chaps. So you guys run north. Just tell the artillery to hold fire for now. There's the general's bodyguard. Is he charging? He's not charging, but he is cognizant of the fact that he doesn't really want these infantry getting into a good position. No, Marines charge in. Same with you guys. Excellent. Cressier's in for reinforcements. There we go. So these guys are winning slightly, but we've got some marines charging in on the flank, which won't help them at all. You guys in intercept the Kizilbashi Musketeers. Mizon de Roy, go hit the Kizilbashi Musketeers inside the wall. Enemy general successfully killed. So let's bring our infantry back. And now, we are going to the point where we can uh, create a little defensive position outside our own walls. There we go, we are now winning. No, go away, artillery. You guys charging? You are. Drop into square. There we go. More foot artillery? No, thank you. So these guys are attempting to... Yeah, they are going to storm our walls. Let 
Where's my general? Get him over here. Don't want those guns. These guys currently engage the Kizobashi outside of the walls, but then I want to definitely want to start moving them inside because it looks like they are starting to swarm this particular area. I mean, my artillery can try get into the fort. Get all my infantry in. Bring my general close. You guys go inside to help try and fight off against those Hindu warriors. Right, okay, some of you need to stay out here. To engage those enemy units. The 50th can get in, the weakest unit can get in. You guys get over here as well, everyone get over there. These men, oh, this man, these men are a potential threat. I mean, more so than usual. Artillery, you can go away. Because we do not need... We do not need any more artillery. Push the cavalry through this fight. I just wanted to charge them to uh, slow them up. Get you guys around on the flank. Keep running. starting to run run low on reinforcements hit the musketeers in the rear hope is we can start a bit of a chain route going on. If I can get these cavalry over here as well, they could do some good. They are being charged by Indian cavalry though, which is causing complications. Such complications include getting swarmed. It's the swordsmen that would be causing the problem. New men set up. I have no reserves. Let's get my guards down here against the Hindu warriors. Curaciers are doing some good damage but are they necessarily doing it in the place that they need to do it? The general needs to get involved. Get out of here artillery. Couple of like one routing Indian flag with a bunch of routing Louisiana flags. I 
heroic death. My general's fallen, which is really bad. Can you guys make these guys route, please? And thank you. Good. You guys go in there and help kill those Hindu warriors. You guys go in there and help kill those Hindu musketeers. And you guys just get in. Other unit must rout. You guys have to fight your way through the seat, Musketeers. My cavalry's my, my reserves are about to get intercepted by Lancers, so form square. Let's limber you guys up, because I have one plan. We're having to fight our way through the Sea Musketeers to get to the get to the center. My cavalry's routed at the rear. You guys limbered up. We are about to get overwhelmed and we've not got... Yeah, our, in our reinforcements are getting intercepted too readily they were safe another oh reinforcements from another angle fascinating let's get this general in hope we can hold the line somewhat I doubt it okay good you see poison the musketeers hit the French in the rear Please be reinforcements from over there this time. Wavering. Broken. Get you guys out of square. All of you. Hightail it. Over here as fast as possible. charge these musketeers in the rear it's really not good how much of a thin margin this is okay you intercept the lancers just to give them someone to look at Okay, that's my. This is my. I don't know why this guy isn't limbering up properly. My last shot is to uh, bombard the combat itself. Canister shot. Round shot. Center. You flee. General get involved to so this guy. It's fairly useless because he, he looks like he's bugged. <sighs> we're gonna we're gonna lose this. It's such, on such a slim margin, on such a handful of units. A handful of units making the difference. Okay, you guys attack them. You guys attack ground straight ahead. You guys having to actually 
Okay, General's bodyguard, you guys push in. Smash these musketeers on the flank. You guys just bear at charge. You need to get in. You guys need to hit these seat musketeers to help get make this a way in. Go on, charge. These guys need to run that way to specifically make it into the breach rather than... I missed these clonal cav. You go in, hit the Kizilbashi. Oh, they were routing. They were so close. Come and clone your horse. Charge the levy. It's bad lean over until I say it's over. I've got 20 minutes. We're cutting down the, the levee. Oh no, you don't know. You don't pick up your stuff. You guys. Run. Charge into the back of the Royal Indian Guard. You guys do a smash and grab across the centre of the breach while the reinforcements. There we go. You guys tag the. Uh, tag the centre. Just get one of you into that house. Get one of you over here. One of you over here. Another one of you going straight up here and engaging in melee combat over there. Oh yes, we got some marines coming in. And we've also got Foot artillery, which I didn't didn't keep my eye on. Okay, cavalry. Run through the centre to get rid of it. Come on, you, 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 run up. Artillery, cast a shot, big Islamic swordsman. You guys pick up your guns. You guys stop firing. You guys get up here. And charge on both flanks at the back. You're doing good, General. Just do more of it. You guys run, run back to your guns. Good. So the troops inside the breach have finally succumbed. Christ, we got some marines. Getting some more mercenaries as well. Come on. 
How are the, this Dakili holding on so long? Get these marines straight over here. Fighting our way in. They're wavering. Fourteenth foot are unhappy. Which is to be understood. These Dakili are standing their ground quite well. No, General. Don't run. I didn't mean to let you get hit by the Islamic swordsmen. There we go. Send in the Marines to knock out the Hindu warriors. Got some more men arriving from the south. Mercenaries, got colonial line coming from the glorious south. Colonial light. Look at the bodies over this section of the breach where I just threw my men into it just to hot just to kill them. Okay, let's push my line up north of the Actually no, that's not that's not such an important thing anymore. Come on, if I can make the 133rd route, I want to get a unit up here to try to recapture the gate. Ideally this Maison de Roy, as they're so under strength. Maison de Roy. Okay, so I might ignore the artillery, pick these guys up, sends the artillery, push them up to a line ahead of the centre. You guys garrison that building. And let's get this unit over here. Actually, let's get this unit to stand stand ground on the center square. We need a 14th foot guards. You're going exactly where I want you to go. Uh, the 10th light horse. Just get out of here. East India Company cavalry are coming in. Islamic swordsmen. Send you guys in as well, around the flank. Charge into the rear of the Islamic swordsmen. They are now wavering. This territory is ours. Phew. Long live. Long live oh, Louisiana Republic. Are we a republic? That was an endurance match, I can tell you. <laughs> I really hope you guys uh, watch this, because this is probably one of the bigger battles I think I've ever fought. 
I mean, it's still not over. They've still got significant forces on the field, but... Okay. They're going to do some damage with their artillery before they go. They're bringing up the 24 pounder foot artillery up real close. Okay, I'll walk a unit of howitzers up and I'll run a unit of infantry up still. Okay, in they come. Here comes the next wave. Do I still have unit in there? Oh, a bit of one. Put some sepoys in there. Sepoys, sepoys. Actually, the calf can stay outside of the walls. The Dakili, the next level, next unit of dervishes are coming in. The gate is now ours, so they can only push through this gap in the walls where many a cavalryman has died. Those are our dervishes or Islamic like swordsmen. Are these guys attempting to breach this building? It looks like they might. They are more than welcome to. The 94th have stood stood strong in that building for for eons. Tufangi coming in, 24 pound a foot. War elephants, general's bodyguards, war elephants. Understandable. These unit, these men are unhappy, so they are going to be given instructions to flee. Maison de Bois look great. You guys have held on. All of my guard units did really. They will take the building. Although actually, I might get you guys out of this one. I know you're out of it already. I'll see if I can get the last. You men ceasefire, push in front of the house, then re engage. Tufangi, Tufangi, Sikh Musketeers. More men coming down off the hill, but now it's just a time question. They've got eight minutes. Building lost. House. run these men up as a reserve. If these guys pour fire into the dervishes that are now... They've captured the house, what more do you want? Wait a minute, not to get shot at? They're some of our routing troops. Have we got coming down from the centre? Islamic swordsmen, bowmen, Tufangi. Bowman. The dervishes have been routed. Here come the next unit, the Dakili, Tufangi. They're more like Town Watch, I suppose, in Rome 1 parlance. And they will be engaged mercilessly. Here come the Islamic swordsmen. I might just knock you guys forward a bit. just to keep them at that bit further away from the uh, from the central flag. So now we can engage and pour fire 
into the Islamic swordsman in quite a good position. Tufangi are dying through volley after volley after volley. These guys actually going to be clever and flank. So let's just run these mercenaries into the fray. We've also got some bowmen coming in. They've got five minutes though. You chaps, the 95th, need to reload before these fellas get into range to uh, stab you with their duck stabbers. Here they come. of men quite quickly now. They decided to stop charging. That wasn't... There they go. Musketeers are now pushing around. Seeking to do... Seeking to make battle with the musket. Or with the musket with a bayonet on the end of it. run another unit of American mercenaries in. And here come the howitzers. Don't they beat all? Drop your shells right there, methinks. Look at these musketeers, they're not even facing the right way. I just managed to shoot out a window in one of the barracks buildings. Oh yes. Good damage from the carcass shot. Phew. Well. I recorded Louisiana Part uh, 44 this morning and I popped back on for let's just fight another let's do another battle make some real progress here I didn't anticipate it becoming um, an entire hour long defence of Calcutta that got really close to me to be being uh, overwhelmed at one point Win it we have. I mean, it looks like the AI doesn't really want to attack. Don't know if... No, with round shot, that's not enough. I don't have enough range to start to knock out some of their elephants. Oh, here comes... Come some of their... Do too fangy and some bowmen. Oh, no, it's two units of two fangy. You, you won't get through. Charge as much as you like. You've been shot down. There we go. Managed to break their spirits long before they got to our lines. Quote unquote. Long may not be what it refers to in reality. There we go, we've pushed them back. That's their last... Oh no, they've got a one more unit of Hindu warriors coming in. That is their... Likely, their last offensive push. It's the only unit near the city that can actually do damage. I mean, got some too fangy, but... Nah. But this has been an exceptionally costly battle and we will need to do some immediate 
uh, media management here at the start of the next turn. Good you lads. Make sure you're reloaded. Good. Indian, Indian colonial troops and American mercenaries standing side by side. A lot of firepower. You guys better reload. They're coming right at you. Yeah. They they are broken. Good stuff. There's 41 seconds left. I could run my cavalry round to try and knock out the odd unit of artillery, but really, what's the point? Uh, the loss for them is going to be severe. So much so, I might just do this for the last handful of seconds, because these guys aren't even going to get to the wall. Unless we get a really well-timed how to shot, but I think we wouldn't get it. Probably gonna hit that building. Zero. Hurrah! The Siege Musketeers marching up to the walls, but soon they will be recalled because victory is ours! And goddamn, this is a long episode. <laughs> but I think it was worth it. It was quite a tense battle. Did you notice how I stopped talking during certain parts of it? Ah, oh. well, there we go. End battle. Heroic victory. Many men lost. We lost 5,000 men. The garrison is near it, but it is wiped out. But they lost 13,000 men. Those forces have been gutted. They cannot easily make a counter-attack. They do have some forces nearby, but we're on a bit of a roll. There, and that ends their turn, unsurprisingly. But now, with our ability to more rapidly uh, respond, this priest that spawned up here in Scotland, you are going to join this army that's down south. Alongside these infantry but before we do anything like that i want to hop over to india pick a few of my armies like this hop back over to here you guys replenish yes my lord your humble servant let's combine these units then we can probably actually take the weakest unit here and resupply the most up strength units first apart from where they're not the same units there we go let's probably do the same with the 151st no, you can't do that either March you. To be honest, can't really march you anywhere. At the ready. But one of these guys can get into position. Put the city under siege. Under siege. You guys march up nearby. You guys are replenishing and you're still churning out a good amount of infantry. You guys try and kill this priest. Lots of raids. Denmark is unhappy, understandably. Damn. Might actually hop up and make sure I do this. Because they are nearby. Forward! For crown and country! So the lower classes are now, they're okay with me now. Um, but let's start churning out some infantry and also bring my Forward. cavalry Forward. back. And then probably do some sloop recruiting here. Maybe even 
take this navy that's f fully built. Because you guys, no, you are, you guys aren't up to strength. Let's take you guys, blockade Malmo, and that stops Halston Krantz from being resupplied. But Didrik Eriksson, back over in India. You guys are at full strength. These East India Company march north immediately. <laughs> Force, so. that's just all artillery. New men, recruit a new general. Replenish, take a unit of infantry, march east Forward! to hold off these chaps. Your Majesty. Yes, sir. Group these infantry together, take out the weakest hey, guns, mark. place Forward! them with some infantry. Take out those three howitzers. Your humble servant. Ready for order. God, we lost a lot of generals in that fight. Armand Villeneuve. Your Majesty. Congratulations, Thanks. your men. Forward. Your your ranks can grow. Forward. With East Forward. India Company cavalry, Forward. you guys combine. You men that have some units that have done very well in their fight. You can have My Lord. two units of guard corps, Forward, march. and then probably another unit of infantry. Forward, and I might even take off one country. of your lower ranks of one of your smaller artillery Benji. pieces and upgrade you. March. Then you, who are replenished, Benoit Ogero. You men, just uh. Bring up some reinforcements, damn it. But these guys up here now are all pretty depleted. So they've got a couple of new stacks coming in, but I think we can resupply and get on the offensive first. Richmond, Virginia has grown. Seminary in Oxford. A couple of new top tier buildings. Trinidad can get a new governor's palace and upgrade to a new port. The U.S. Army that has grown is now at full strength. So you men march to Plymouth Forward! with Forward! these Forward! spies. Forward! Embark. March. Embark my agents. It's a handful of first rates. Sail over to India. Drop an infantry unit into Plymouth. You guys hold position and now start to build up a new force. Quebec does not have any infantry for us because we've already used it. But they have no population. You are ready. You're growing. Hmm, is Austria at war? Who's Austria at war with again? France. Okay, that's good. Keeping them busy over here. While I hoover up uh, the Indian subcontinent. There's not a lot, realistically, I can do. So these chaps may as well build up a... Another army to deploy. Because everywhere looks fairly good. To me... Um, we can't upgrade the, the buildings especially. Your Majesty. You're not in range to attack Ali Baksh. Three heroic deaths. Lots of recruitment across the board. So when I land another army in India, I want to land up here and hit Nerun to then own this northwest corner and push on towards Ahmedabad. So that way I'm pushing into India from three directions. I think that'd be pretty neat. Um... But rather than hit and turn and lose things in transit and so on, rather than partly finish next turn, I'm probably going to... Uh, actually, have we Catholicized everywhere? I think you've got to go over to Texas, I thought so. Because we do want to still want to spread our Catholic me message across the, uh, the continent. Um... But yeah, looking at the timer, we've gone 
crazy over. This is going to be great fun to render. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.